So I like working with fish because of JAWS 3. I wanted to be a marine biologist. I'm the aquatics unit manager here at the Francis Crick Institute. We are a multi-species facility having zebrafish, xenopus frogs, as well as guppies. Lots of people might not realize that zebrafish share a 70% genome of people, and that's why they're a great model for science. They also tend to lay hundreds of brothers and sisters in one clutch, so you get a much greater sample size. So there's actually broad applications that zebrafish are used for here at the Crick. It tends to be heart development, eye disease, um, entero nervous system research. Zebrafish lay their eggs when the lights turn on, so we can set them up the night before with a barrier between the male and the female, and then they have some alone time overnight and then when the lights turn on you can remove the barrier and that gets them to lay. And so then the scientists are always starting at the same time point. We also do a lot of refinements to embrace better welfare for the fish. Traditionally, fin clipping is what you'd use to get a tissue sample to determine the fish's genotype, so whether that's pet hom or wild type. This is something that involves being anesthetized, which studies have shown the fish quine find quite aversive. We have this unique standalone system that allows us to individually house them with circulating water and filtration. They also have visual cues with their neighbors and olfactory cues, but we can still keep them separate. And that allows our fish to live quite normally while we're waiting for those sample results to come back. And then now we've also started to embrace swabbing, which is a replacement or refinement, I guess, of the fin clipping process. Skin swabbing, we can take a fish directly out of the tank tickle them a bit with a cotton bud, a flock swab, and then send that off for the DNA analysis. So there's no tissue removal, there's no anesthesia. It's quite a fast procedure comparatively, so we're able to process more animals in less time. Um, so this is something we've been working on quite a bit and helping um, disseminate the information throughout Europe and the US with this technique, hoping that we can get the entire global community to embrace it.